you want to go forward, you push D, you know, you want to go backwards, you go to R in the car. <laughs> right? He is great. Would you ask him if you got some inexperienced driver ready to go off a cliff? What letter are you looking for at that point? <laughs> No right to ask for the keys back. <laughs> We're not asking. We are not asking. It's so comical. Watching the left trip all over itself, trying to figure out why his poll numbers are tanking. Maybe we can forgive their living large on our dollars while our yeah. unemployment soars. Yeah. And maybe we can forgive their counting our calories while they parade to burger joints and rib huts and ice cream parlors. I don't know what their obsession is with us fat Americans. <laughs> <laughs> I think maybe we don't look hungry enough to them yet. We're working on it. But in a nutshell, the reason his poll numbers are tanking, it's the socialism, stupid. They're so ignorant and so arrogant. But it's not just the left. Trent Mott showing his fear of we the people came out and said, we can't have these Tea Party candidates getting elected, showing up here in Washington and walking around acting like Jim DeMint. So I made a Jim DeMint mask. All right. up the Capitol steps, maybe, maybe doing some jazz hands, put me in coach, I'm ready to play today, and I'm just running up, I'll come out of my shell in a minute, don't hold that, <laughs> all right, comrade Obama, he likes to sign policy into existence. He loves to hand down the edict. Have you noticed that? He, uh, he thinks he can grant amnesty to illegal immigrants by executive order. He shut down the oil industry. I'm not very PC. 
Amen. I'm not a politician. I don't always say the most politically expedient thing. In fact, my campaign committee worries. They say to me, oh my God, Janet, who in Washington is going to reel you in? And my answer is, listen, Trent Lott, no one. Amen. <laughs> is a leader is a person you will follow to a place you would not go by yourself. Come follow me. <laughs> Understand we need strong leadership. Right now we're facing some very hard issues. And those of us who refuse to back away from them will lead that conservative march to Washington. Complete the dang fence. Yeah. yeah! But understand you, you need to take back your Congress. That's right. We have put ourselves on the front lines for you. We are taking point. But I have to ask you, when those of us that have put ourselves on the line say, Charge! Will there be an army behind us? Yeah. Yeah. We need your votes on August 24th. We need your votes on November 2nd. Yes. And if you wake up on November 3rd and say, God, why, why, why? Why is our Congress not populated with faithful, conservative public servants? And it will be... You didn't get them elected. It's up to you now. Thank you. It's always the shy ones, isn't it? Yeah. Should have put her first. Yeah. <laughs> you hear that? I should have put you first. No kidding. Yes, I am. We were going to save her to last. <laughs> I want to introduce another candidate from CD3, another another man that I've gotten to know. He actually represents.